Yo, what is up gamers? We are here officially with Tarnished Lost. So what are we doing today? Let's first take a look at their statistics. They have very simplistic statistics, very similar to Base Isaac. But like Tainted Loss, they have a little bit of a difference. Tainted Loss has a damage multiplier. Tarnished Loss actually has a tier multiplier. You'll see that we have an item in the bottom right called Divine Remnants and it provides us with a Holy Mantle. But I can sacrifice this Holy Mantle to re-roll an item. I don't want to do that. This, this is really good. Here's how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. Here's the dealio. If I press Q right now, boom, we get to keep the charge and it actually gains charge. We lose the Holy Mantle so now I have to do four rooms in order to get it back. This thing is now at an effective level 2. We can increase it even further to level 3. Of course, that's a bit of a risk. You know, we're going to risk ourselves having no Holy Mantle for another period of time. Depending on the level of Divine Remnant, we can get a better reroll on our items. And that's, that's basically it. It's simplistic enough for us to understand, but complicated enough that there's a ton of nuance to it, which just means that it's wonderfully designed. Thank you very much as well, by the way, to Slay XC2 for providing such a detailed mega guide to tarnish loss if you haven't you gotta check them out so now we are going to try this character out and see what they work with and see how they play out in a bit of a regular run i'm gonna try my best to get through this entire thing not bozo around and, and see if we can get to the very end that is kind of the reason i took contagion as well because wow holy mother that is a powerful item <laughs> divine remnants when we use it on a pickup it can also re-roll the pickup so we rolled that heart into coins very nice since we didn't use it on an item we got to upgrade it one more time. It's all the way up to level 3. All we need to do now is use it on an item and we'll get something generally good. Duke of Flies was a nice easy fight. We are rewarded with Glass Eye. I love to see it. And uh, this is a hard character. So I'm not gonna goof around and be like, haha, I'll totally go to the alternate floors. Are you kidding me? No, thank you. <laughs> now if we get hit naturally, like normally, not on purpose, press Q moment, we lose the charge on our Divine Remnants, which would be terrible, especially in this scenario, with such a high level divine remnants it would be basically an entire floor for me to try and uh, charge it all the way back that would be not so great and of course if you have divine remnants not fully charged and you get hit while you have no holy mantle you straight up die couple extra nuances of the character you know how tainted loss has quote-unquote better items where you can't really get health ups or anything well this character uh, straight up they can they they straight up can so unlike tainted loss or lost when you have a uh, birthright making it so you can't find something like candy heart or like just something completely useless if you walk in a treasure room you might just find one as this character however when you use divine remnants to re-roll then you can't find something like that so i can't re-roll into an hp up however this is a perfect example this is an item that activates on damage so what are we gonna have to do let's use our level three divine remnants to re-roll it into something better warm friends incredible and it is also an item that doesn't you know require us to take damage we've leveled down our divine remnants down to level two now in order to get it back up to level three we would have to charge it up all the way and then use it again but this is where it gets kind of scary because for this period of time i literally have no holy mantle whatsoever this should be easy enough though i think my goodness i'm boned gg <laughs> I, uh, okay, I'm gonna play this slow. I'm, I'm literally gonna do this for the entire thing. Thank you, Worm Friend, for putting in the work. I appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, you are absurd and mentally insane if you think I am peeking my head out at any moment here. Ah, nice. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go Devil Rooms because I really want an immediate power buff. Okay, well, that's not that good. I don't even know where these enemies are. I'm probably about to get hit. Oh my god. I didn't realize Worm Friend went off just then. I almost ran back into that enemy. Honestly, duality is good here. It at least makes it so I feel like I came in here for a reason. I doubt Dark Prince's crown works with us right now. So I'll take duality. Nice. And we got one more thing to do on this floor is check out that boss challenge room. One extra thing to note is that on on the character select screen you can see that tarnished loss has a passive the passive being a challenge charge when you do certain rooms like mini bosses bosses boss challenge rooms mob challenge rooms this sucks but i gotta take it you're actually gonna be able to recharge your divine remnants faster than you usually would you'll get more charge out of it so it just plays way deep into the risk reward type deal if you think you can handle these very scary rooms with no mantle then you're gonna be mega rewarded worm friend has shown that it is probably the best thing i 
I could have found. Holy moly. Do I want to roll here and then go with no mantle for a bit? I will. Because I'm going to keep my charge and it's going to recharge a bit more. You can see that I already got two. I'm feeling confident. I just got to do two rooms on the next floor and then I'll get another big boy charge. The higher the level, the better the reroll and the higher the risk. I don't know how risky I want to get here. It seems like uh, it's actually a bit scary to do that. Even for someone like me, I don't know if I would go full force there. Uh, but that's also the reason why it's super cool. You can't just play it one way. It really depends on what you're working with. Let's also not get too crazy here. Take our time. It's not like I'm going for boss rush or anything. Let's look for the secret room. Pretty please with a cherry on top. Thank you. Magic mushroom out of nowhere. That would have been humongous. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll sacrifice one bomb, dude. Absolutely. freaking loot -ly. Liberty cap is, uh, I mean, it's, it's something. And this super secret room seems absurd to find. I got a shop though with a bunch of cash. A scooper. That ain't a scooper. That's a potato peeler. Still useless though. Let's head out of here. Okay, not doing the skinny room. That's terrifying. I gotta do two rooms now without getting hit so I can feel more confident in my abilities to run around with no mantle. And then I kind of want to run around with a mantle for a bit because it's scary, dude. Having no mantle anywhere for the entire run. Like, you think I really want to deal with that? But that does become the risk reward type thing. If we're running around with a mantle not really using divine remnants uh, actively, then we're not upgrading it to higher levels and we're not getting better items i guess you know a certain way you really could play passively <laughs> just run divine remnants like this forever and just hope that you find good items naturally but it is not working for me so i gotta do it i gotta get fate's reward and i gotta do more rooms with no mantle <laughs> i'm kind of tempted to use uh, the divine remnants here one more time once it's level two and just get it down to level one so i can have a four room charge holy mantle because then i'd feel a little bit more confident i feel okay with this run you're like, oh, it's not incredible, but it's definitely not terrible. It's it's pretty good, honestly. What is this? Pill? Speed down? All right, it's getting there. It's, it's pretty bad, actually. Worm country? I understand. You want to give me a heart attack? That's how it is. That's how we want to play it? Then yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, I this is an anxiety character for real, for real, guys. Every day, I freak out even more with this guy on my screen. Please be a good shop. Eraser. That is humongous. This is damn near game winning i'm also gonna blow up this dude for that extra deal chance very essential for us eraser uh does not fall under the guise of uh the challenge charge which is a bit unfortunate usually if you have an active item like a d6 or something and you have the challenge charge working for you you'll actually be able to recharge your other items even faster not just divine remnants this is not gonna apply to eraser of course it's just gonna recharge every single floor but yeah it's all right we got it just lock in uh, okay if the boss room spawns an item that's genuinely bad I'll use Divine Remnants even on that. And then I'll fight in that mob challenge room because it's going to give me extra charges. I think up to four. And that will literally just give me a holy mantle. You know what I'm saying? This will work out for us. I just need to do a couple more rooms without getting hit. And then I'll be rewarded. And then I can take a deep breath. And then I, I no longer have to have anxiety. The goal of every single human being. Oh, you know what? I should be using bombs for combat. What am I doing? Oh, God. You barely took damage. Oh, okay, 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 bad. Very, very, very terrible scenario. <laughs> uh, well, good news, everyone. I got perfection, yay. You also got a good item, and then maybe this is just an amazing item. It's really not, it's it's just not that incredible. All right, well, I guess we could say that my divine remnants leveled up, yay. We got seven seals, amnesia. Let's go to the mob challenge room and try not to die. We, uh, I'm not gonna have mantle for even longer now. Tartar Sloth still falls under the category of they basically don't actually get hit, and if they do get hit, they die. So we do get perfection. Items that reward high High luck are going to be high priority as this character. I'm basically dead. Holy moly. I'm very surprised I didn't die just then. We also are excited. Next floor, we'll be able to get a racer going. And I'd like to delete very annoying enemies. Ones that will uh, typically destroy your run. I'm thinking the worms. I'm thinking flies, etc, etc. We're good. I just needed to keep talking and not really focus on the gameplay. So, so I didn't, you know, freak out and die there. Holy. Okay, let's go next floor. I got a bunch of bombs so I can blow up a lot of different stuff. Maybe get lucky and pull something out of my ass. That battery is huge. There's things we can do on the run to, to, to close it out. I am very tempted to just do this. These guys suck. Butthole enemies are honestly up there in terms of terrible. Like, what do I even do at this point? Do I just, I run a 12 room holy mantle? I feel like I got to roll if it's not good. Dude! <laughs> okay, let's roll it and get glitter bombs. Wow, yay. 
I guess. Sure, why not? And then let me take the battery so that we have a little bit of an easier time not dying. Batteries actually give you even less charge than they usually would. As you can see, we only got two there. So uh, literally talk about a hard character. I got bombs, especially because of glitter bombs. I'll burn a couple. We got a crawl space. Super worth it. Luck up as well. The crawl space of my dreams. It can't be wafer. It can't be holy mantle, but it can be something absurdly good such as a black market. Okay, I like that. What do we got cooking in here? Uh, some really good stuff, man. What do we want from here? A uh, blank card is good. Sharp key is decent. Car battery? I don't even know how that would work with Divine Remnants. In my mind, it doesn't. Can we play you? <gasps> Please. Do you actually, like, work? I- What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why would you not work? I, I- one more time, just to make sure that- okay, alright, you know what? This character sucks, I guess. You serve actual zero purpose. Mom's key dream catcher are the two ones that I'm looking at here. Or I could just reroll and maybe get something a little bit sicker. I might do that. And that way I can just rock the, uh, the four room charge mantle. Because I think at this point, this run, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I can genuinely win with this type of run. Slowly getting stronger over time, nothing absurd, no and crazy good items. As long as I have a four room holy mantle, I think I can do it. This might be my strategy uh, from now on. I think this would be a very effective way to play the character. Because otherwise you're just going to have anxiety every single day of your life. I got birthright? <laughs> What's the way? Hell yeah, dude. New character and birthright. Bosses and champions have a chance to drop mantle shards when killed. Mantle shards grant one charge to divine remnants each. This is incredible. I cannot believe how lucky we got to find this thing. I will not not complain i will just shut my mouth and be uh very happy about it let's take it dude i i do kind of want to use the reroll maybe a bit more aggressively than i was thinking but for now let me just do what i said i was gonna do which was reroll this and get it down to level one because i i'm just i'm terrified oh my god school bag are you kidding me this roll is so good why am i talking like this <laughs> it's a real deal 100 percent electric tarot cloth humongous king baby it's okay yeah school bag man for the future i gotta lock that in now we just gotta do four rooms only a couple if they're a challenge room hey and only one if i gotta do a boss you saw that mega erase play that was humongous what's in here speed up i uh I'm scared of these bosses. Those bosses are terrifying. I will take that speed up afterwards, just not right now. That's gonna be like the last thing I do on the floor because a flooded caves boss challenge room, make no mistake, that thing is scary. I know you guys always like it when I mega try hard on runs and show up some sweaty Isaac skills. So here we are, we're locking it in. I gotta stay on my freaking toes and not mess up. I've never seen this room before in my life. And I thought, you know, if I hit the button soon enough, hopefully I don't have to learn what it's even trying to do to me. <laughs> it's just so scary, man. You press Q and you know for like the next like four rooms if you skill issue once it's over for you but i guess i should be using the mechanic as much as possible it is new i'll take the key and then i'll, I'll do it here i'm sorry what <laughs> i thought it's supposed to reroll the pill did i mess something i probably messed something up you know what i could do four rooms it's okay whatever i don't even i don't even care whatever i'm all right i'm okay don't worry about it okay stone chest no item that's fine one single room is all we need and we can get our mental back it's the fallen i'm terrified gg i'm using bombs 100 percent here i'm not messing around i'm gonna blow everyone up immediately we got a ton of mantle shards <laughs> that is awesome but i don't want to reroll this are you kidding me succubus is incredible oh uh, yeah with that let's go pick up the speed up with our reroll divide remnants in play so we have that extra bit of shield a best case scenario here is i do this without getting hit i can use divine remnants on a pickup reroll it and then pick up those mantle shards and then i'll have a level three divine remnants while still having a holy mantle shield available that, that's best case scenario i could get unlucky or i could just uh, demolish everything in the world okay very sick we can pick up these mantle shields this will slowly reach charge it all the way we now have a level three divine remnants available for any kind of reroll possible let's go down i'm feeling good about the run that birthright really changes how you play the character depths one take a deep breath recuperate yourself adjust yourself to the situation analyze what's 
what's on the floor? What can really harm you here? And what can you use to your advantage? Viz and these guys, honestly, are really bad enemies to find. I will, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna uh, erase a Viz 100% if I can. Ah, uh, I couldn't. I was a little scared there, dude. I felt like I was gonna like throw it into the rock and mess it up. I didn't want to do that. Blood Puppy can kill me. I'm not doing that. Even if this was a, a tainted loss run, I wouldn't do it. Even if it was a regular loss run, I might do it, but I'd be considering it and not too uh, ample to do it. I, I'd take my time. What about you, Mr. Mega? That's a solid item. I have a ton of bombs. We've been using bombs for combat. It's such a good strategy, especially when you need that burst damage like against that Fallen. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it. Gotta find Viz. Gotta find Viz. This is a worm room. You can't trick me. I know. I know you. And once we find Viz, we erase and we don't have to worry about them uh, on the womb onwards. Leapers are also up there on the tier list of things that I hate. But not so much. Like, I've, I've been dealing with them for years now. Like, they're terrifying and they could definitely hit me, but not as much. Or, ooh, I can go straight to the boss. <laughs> that don't sound like a bad idea to me. I mean, I have a decent deal chance. I want to blow up a keeper first, though. And I can't find one. I want to blow up the keeper because I want a better deal chance. I want to try and roll a deal. I just don't know if that's going to happen for us. Oh, wow. Even killing these mini bosses in random rooms give uh, mantle shards. That's great information. Thank you. I was lucky here. Very much so. We are blessed with a charged key as well as a shop, which doesn't have a keeper. <laughs> it does, but it has like the mega keeper. He, he became alive. Should I roll these? Maybe, maybe. I definitely don't need that money. I just don't know what to do. I'm always anxiety ridden as this character is something I've learned. So many bad. Batteries. Never mind, I'm chilling. Let's just go fight the boss, whatever. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Let's not waste any charges. Rely on Succubus to absolutely carry my ass. He is earthquaking, guys. I don't know what that was. <laughs> That was- that was disgusting! What the hell? Oh, dude, duality, you are failing me. That always sucks with duality, because devil spawns here, boss door's there, mausoleum door's there, and you can't spawn a deal right up here. That- that sucks. I- I can't get angel rooms. I guess we'll go devils. Dude, what was that earthquake brownie moment? That was insane. I- I don't even want to know. I- uh... You. I mean, actually, Book of Belial is good, and it gives me extra deal chance. Sure, yeah, it's solid. Oh wait, I can go back in? Not like it matters, never mind. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run the Belial. Extra deal chance, extra damage, these are just the things we need. I'm just trying to find a good enemy to erase. The worst thing you could do with Eraser is not use it on a floor. Like, you could miss it, but at least you could say you tried. Just not using it at all, like, that's actually bad. These guys? Whatever. Honestly, good. I like that. Those guys can appear on the cathedral, those little haunt dudes. So that inclines me to believe let's go Polaroid today and go cathedral. And even just having one room deleted of those enemies is going to be value for us. I'll take the hermit for free mapping. Uh, bag lunch does not work for us. What is in here? This is bookworm. That's great. I don't care about the item itself too much, but we can roll it, and I'm happy to do that. Speedball is also, like, good. Like, I I'm happy for that. If I can get another roll comfortably, I will, but I'm, I'm most likely just gonna take that. Oh, range? Sure, why not? If I take this, and I fully charge my Divine Remnants, is it crazy for me to say I roll Blood Puppy and just go through, like, the next three rooms with no mantle? And then I'll have a four-room charge mantle. I'd be feeling a little bit better. Sure? Fortune Cookie. Oh, it's, it's kind of it's kind of a bad roll. I mean, yeah, I mean the trinket he gave me isn't even that good. That's fine. I, I got a four room charge. Divine remnants now. I, th this is good. This is what we wanted to do from the very beginning. I feel more confident about using it aggressively just because of the birthright that I luckily got. I'll take the speed ball, which is what's happening here. <laughs> This cannot be- that- that's not right. I- okay, whatever. Oh my god. Tears up, nice. Especially with Tarnus Loss, Tear Multiplier. Love to see it. Now we just do three rooms. Just three. In fact, I, actually, did I have Mantle Shards that I left in here? No, I don't. Okay, yeah, we gotta do three rooms, and then I'm gonna run with the four-room Divine Charge for the rest of the run, uh, and that's how I'm gonna play it, I think. This run is good enough to beat the game. Okay, what do we got in here? Experimental. How's about I take it and TP out? Or I fight. Okay, if I find an enemy that I like hate, I'll TP out. But I mean, double little horn isn't that bad. 
Felt like a good risk reward there though. Let's take the Hermit and Red Stew's Humongous with a Charger, baby. Let's take the Red Stew now and we'll just use it to, to help clear out the floor. This will be great for us. I just need to make sure I'm not getting overly confident and being like, oh, wow, I got Red Stew, so much damage. Nothing can defeat me, haha. -ha. Like that's not how we should play this. Just be careful. Whatever, I'm deleting Leapers at this point. They keep showing up and I don't mess with them whatsoever. <laughs> you know, with Mantle Shields being laid around because of the Birthright, it does make me feel like I can aggressively use divine remnants even just a little bit like there's no risk to this like if i go in here and i see all these pickups and i'm like man these are a lot of pickups what's stopping me from at least pressing q you know and getting something better because i got mental shields anyway there's no risk might as well explore as fast as we can i want to take advantage of the red stew don't stay behind slowly this is mom transformation and it procs a lot because of our luck so i'll take it and just one more room i'll feel more confident in my abilities to uh, uh beat the run but but we're okay you know this is room like nothing. Oof. I dude, I feel like I gotta take a deep breath every single time. I do not have divine remnants available, and I finally get it all the way up, and I'm just sitting there like Jesus Christ. A terrifying character to be sure. Thanks for that luck up. Ah, uh, there were viz at the very end here, but I I'm happy with my decision to delete leapers. They can show up on future floors as well. It's it's not just depths. Hello. Oh! Holy my goodness. Okay, uh, do I actually want to keep Belial over Eraser? Is that crazy for me to say? I'm gonna do it, dude. Yeah, I, I think Eraser has done its job. It can definitely do a lot, but why would I do that? Or I could reroll it because I'm a, I'm a goddamn stupid idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. Whatever, it's just bomb. I'm just gonna walk in there, press space bar, and she'll die, right? Oh, man. I'm also gonna take this Emperor card so I can skip one of the womb floors. All right, let's not mess this up. Just stand in Succubus and kill her before she can do literally anything at all. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We're good. We're good. Ho, 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 ho. Very nice. Polaroid. And then actually what I can do here is use Divine Remnants and then take these Mantle Shards. I'll be able to get a level 2 charge now. Yeah, I think so. Now we can get a better reroll on this angel. Oh! Why would I want to roll it? Like, in what situation would I ever want to roll? <laughs> Dude, Eucharist is so big, but obviously Stairway is the big thing here. Yeah, we're not we're not rolling this whatsoever. Salvation? I don't really know why I took this item. It's better when you get hit, but it still affects me to an extent, I suppose. Uh, let's, let's go. Hey, this run's going well, guys. I sure hope uh, nothing terrible happens. <laughs> Stairway moment. Is it a 15 huh? cent item? It is not. So I blew up the beggar for a better deal chance, and then I make my way out of here. More than anything in the world right now, I kind of want to get my four room charge mantle back because of the room like this. What is this? Okay, we're fine. Don't freak out. Why would you freak out? It's I like, I, 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 who cares? This is, didn't I say I wanted to use the emperor card? I guess I did. Whatever. Uh, what is? Oh god, it's over, guys. It's so over. It is beyond over. It's it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Take the mantle shard. What is this? That's actually incredibly good. And then just be absurdly nice of an item. Purgatory. It's. I mean, it does something for me, I guess. Oof. Oh god, Jesus. What a terrible room, dude. Four eye lasers and one of them was a brimstone eye? That is malicious. But... This character can get holy cards? All right, never mind, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, things aren't too bad, actually, I think. We're, you know, we're, we're okay. I'm, I'm happy with life, and I'm uh, accepting myself, and I'm moving on. Let's freaking go, gamers. <laughs> this is a bad room. I almost got hit, but we're fine. That means I do get to do what I wanted to do, which is use Divine Remnants on hopefully a deal. Oh, man, I just realized maybe I just don't get a deal, and I'm unlucky here. If I get a deal, it's humongous for me. I need to level it down to level 1, or at least level 2, so I get more Holy Mantle Shields. I want to use it because like i mean i got mantle shields so i can recharge it very easily we were lucky we did go down angels uh huh i mean mind is actually why am i hunting mind is so big yeah mind is mine is really good do i want active contrition though i think i want to roll that let's do this then flip it and then i'll divine remnants it eat and soul I, uh, I don't care about it too much. The main thing is that I, I level it down, honestly. Like, I think Active Contrition was a decent item there, but I have maximum tier rate anyway, so, you know, what, it would, what, what would it have done? I guess I could take Eden Soul with me. I kind of like the idea of the Book of Belial, though. Nah, it's dumb. Book of Belial is clutching it out for me. I'm not gonna abandon it. Let's recharge our Divine Remnants once again. I don't know if we'll get a full charge here. We'll get probably very close or full charge. 
Retrace our steps. What else do we got? Oh yeah, nice. Dude, that birthright is so broken for this character. And now I just gotta do it one more time on the chest. And I think we'll be okay. The chest is also gonna be super good for us. Because the chest is full of bosses, which will spawn mental shards. Okay, hello. What's it? Oh! What a humongous play. This stairway is so incredible. It really sucks that I cannot do what I wanted to do and flip this. But like, it doesn't matter that much. I'm just happy we got Revelation. That is obviously the big pickup there. Maybe some nice pills from coin purse. Uh, I guess I'll take this because it's funny. Okay, good to know. Let's go down. You got me all types of messed up, by the way. If you think I'm fighting the angel, getting the key pieces, and fighting Mega Satan right now. This is my first time ever playing the character. They are supposed to be challenging, and I got this lucky in combination with this amount of skill. I'm not about to squander it by fighting Mega Satan and then, like, losing it all. Like, I don't want to ruin that. I will take my dub and I will leave. <laughs> hey, uh, let's see. Maybe one of those little haunts is deleted from the, a couple floors ago. Dude, Revelation is carrying me. Thank you. It's, uh, it's looking like a no on the whole little haunt thing. Yeah, well, I mean, well, it, it's all right. Erasing those enemies helped me out in that room. Yeah, that's right. Right. Might as well check the super secret room that's along the way and get absolutely nothing. I could reroll those, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> a simple Isaac fight. I I'm sure I can handle this just as easy as everything else so far. Obviously, Revelation is super good. We skipped the angel baby spawning. That's always humongous on this fight. Getting past the second phase on Isaac is like the most essential thing in my opinion. Because you skip the holy beams plus the angel babies. And those guys are just really annoying to deal with. We are good, dude. I think we win here. Mind just clutch out and don't give me cards lost chest i know where the boss is i'm not going to that super secret room what is up here you made a return i i mean that is commendable i'll even take the blood of the martyr like why not dude thank you appreciate it and a holy card wait I was about to say, I am not rich enough. I am. Jesus, thank you. I, yeah, I think this is a dub. I think we really did it, guys. We really, really did. These items are so bad. <laughs> Sword of these six is nice. Let's go defeat a couple rooms that I'm sure will have bosses, at which point we will spawn more mantle shards. We need at least four of them to give ourselves a guaranteed holy mantle after we reroll. That way, there's no risk whatsoever. We're playing it as smart as we can currently. We also have one holy mantle locked in as well as an extra holy card. I'm feeling incredible. Give me my mantle shards. All right, just don't. I don't. I don't even care. Like whatever. I don't. I don't want them. You better though. All right, birthright has stopped working. Let's reroll. We got, oh, incredible items. Genuinely incredible. Loki's Horn is Mascara. I don't want Glass Cannon. Recharge just a bit. We're gonna be one off. That should be fine. I have a Holy Mantle plus a Holy Card available. Is Mascara is gonna scale with Revelation, making it so I can one-shot basically every single enemy now. There you go. Yeah, we we are so locked in, guys. I accidentally D6, my bad. We now have 54 damage with all our multipliers in play. We did it. I am so impressed with this character. Holy Holy. And we got the dub. First try. That is incredible. Shoutouts to Epiphany and shoutouts to you guys. GG.